Passover is approaching for the Jewish community, and it is being celebrated in a very unique way here in the Metro Detroit area with a mitzvah tank parade event coming to West Bloomfield and join us on the Splash Live to give more details on Passover and the Mitzvah Tank Parade itself. VP and Executive Director for the Chabad of Lubavitch of Michigan, Rabbi Kashriel Shimtov. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Nice to be here. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here, taking time out of your busy schedule. So I just want to essentially start off um, kind of coming from a perspective of someone who is not in the Jewish community. So I want to be let you know I'm being as respectful as possible, but I just want to start by you giving us information. What is Passover and why is the holiday significant? Okay, well, Passover, it's interesting. Passover is probably uh, the most practiced holiday in the Jewish tradition. Um, this represents over 3,000 years ago, the Jewish people coming out as a nation uh, being taken out in the exodus from slavery to freedom and really forming as a nation and preparing to receive the revelation of Sinai, which is the revelation of the Torah, of the Ten Commandments and the, and the teachings of Judaism. So uh, the exodus took place on the night of the 15th of Nisan in the Hebrew month of Nisan. This year that is going to be on April 22nd in the evening. And Jews all over the world will be sitting around a ritual rich feast with many traditions, families sit around all over the world celebrating this holiday. And it goes on all the way till the 30th, the holiday. So, okay. you know, it's a time of celebration, a time of, uh, of understanding our past and recognizing our mission in the world the way Judaism teaches us. Great explanation. So essentially, Rabbi, what should we take away from the story of Passover? What should we take away from that? Well, it's a time, it's called It's called the holiday of freedom, okay, where we are, uh, Moses went to Pharaoh and said, let my people go and they will serve me. That we are here to be able to serve God, to bring godliness into this world, to bring God's light into the world, to reach out to our fellow and bring freedom to them and embrace them and being able to bring the teachings and traditions uh, of the Torah to the to the world uh, and to make this more a positive world. Absolutely. Thank you for I mean, it's, it seems like general principles, you know, just be nice, be kind to others and, you know, treat others how you want to be treated, essentially. And, and like you said, celebrating freedom also. Yes, I completely understand that. Join us right you know, now, VP and executive. Oh, no, join us right now, VP and Executive Director of the Chabad Lubavitch of Michigan, Rabbi Kashriel Shemtov, just telling us about the Passover Mitzvah tank event that's coming to Metro Detroit, specifically here in West Bloomfield. I, I'm sorry to cut you off. Continue, sir, please. What were you saying? Sure. Um, in terms of Passover, of course, because it was from slavery to freedom, uh, the mm -hmm. message for all of us would be so many of us in our own lives feel entrapped, feel like we have challenges, we have limitations, we have boundaries to be able to yeah. go on with life and do the right thing. And what Passover teaches us is that every day you can say to yourself, today I'm going to go free. I'm going to step out of my boundaries, my limitations. Um, I have I've been given by God a special power to be able to uh, live my life and reach out to others and bring light into this world. Right. Thank you for clarifying that. Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah, definitely want to make sure we approach that correctly. So getting to the event specifically, the, the Mitzvah Tank, can you tell us about the inspiration behind the Mitzvah Tank Parade event and specifically just before Passover, the significance of it? Yes, uh, we're doing this now for a number of years and uh, it's really exciting. You see the images over there uh, where we have mobile homes, VRs, that are mm -hmm. essentially uh, dressed up and uh, uh, equipped to be small outreach centers, you know, where the this is all uh, was initiated by the Rebbe, by the Lubavitcher Rebbe, our spiritual leader of blessed memory in 1974. And the Rebbe's vision was that there are so many people who they won't come to the rabbi, they won't come to the synagogue, they won't reach out for help 
in their tradition or in their lives. And therefore, create these centers, go out to where people are. We say a mitzvah on the spot for people on the go. Go out to them, make it available to them, reach out to them. And therefore, we call it a mitzvah tank. It's a mitzvah, it's a good deed, but it mm, goes out of all boundaries. You know, just like a, a tank, literally, uh, on the negative right. side, maybe, uh, makes it through all boundaries, limitations, trenches. That's why you, the tank takes you where you have to go. The idea of these mobile homes is to tell each of us, go out of your boundaries, go out of your limitations, and be there for other individuals. So what we have done here is there's going to be 13 of these VRs, of these mitzvah tanks. Uh, we're mm -hmm. going to have a parade, and the parade is going to go from the center in Oak Park. It's going to go through a number of communities like Huntington Woods and Royal Oak, Birmingham, and then they're going to each one spread out to a different station, either shopping mm -hmm. centers, uh, senior citizen homes, neighborhoods, and it's all being arranged that people could come on to the mitzvah mobile, learn about Passover, learn about their tradition, and even for all walks of life, from all traditions and all human beings, uh, to come on and be embraced with the message of, 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 of peace, of hope, and the Jewish tradition. Nice. So starting in Oak Park, spreading out to different okay, metro you. Detroit areas and cities, essentially. And then we are going to land one of them uh, right here in the West Bloomfield area also. Can you tell us a little bit more about the one that will be in West Bloomfield, about where that location will be? And exactly, um, are, you said they'll, they'll be handing out things, doing different things. Can you get a little, little bit more in detail about that, please? Sure, sure. Um, like I said, uh, there's going to be a parade going from Oak Park, Royal Oak, Huntington Woods, Birmingham. And then from mm -hmm. Birmingham, we will spread out uh, and it will be in Oakland County, even beyond um, there will be. And here in West Bloomfield, uh, we're going to have two mobile homes. I'm not going to give the exact locations right now, but there will be in okay, neighborhoods. Okay. It, it, there will be neighborhoods in West Bloomfield as well as gotcha. uh, as well as for senior citizen homes uh, where it's already uh, the, the program has already been scheduled. You know, the, the mobile homes come also with uh, equipped with having music to be played loud. So they come out, uh -huh. everyone notices them, they come to their windows, they come outside, whatever it might be. So it brings a spirit of friendship, of happiness, of joy, um, and as well as shopping centers. One neighborhood, for example, that we're going to here in West Bloomfield, uh, you know, a, a, a news uh, a, a social media post went out to the entire subdivision. They're all aware of it because we've done it in the past. They come out at mm -hmm. five o'clock and are joining and could get the matzah. Let me tell you a little bit about the uh, what they're equipped with. Um, you see on the Seder table at the Passover night, uh, one of the highlights is uh, the Shemura matzah. It's a special matzah, uh, unleavened bread, crackers, however you want to call it, that is uh, traditionally baked. And that's what we eat at the Seder table. So when you come to those, uh, when you come to the mitzvah tank, you'll be able to receive those. You'll find out where you can get more. Uh, there's mm -hmm. also uh, the traditional putting on of the tefillin that for males, there's for the women, they light the candles before the holiday, they'll be able to receive information. And it will be an opportunity for anyone that needs a place to go for the Seder. They could reach out to any of the Chabad centers, Chabad Lubavitch centers, and they could find out where they could have a Seder. We're inviting every single individual that needs a place for the Seder that we will help them to have a place for the Seder. The Seder is this traditional feast for Passover. Right. Thank you. I, I appreciate the in-depth information that you're giving me. Like I said, from someone who's not from the Jewish community, just want to learn a little bit more about the tradition and the things and the history going on. Just once again, joining us, uh, VP and Executive Director of the Chabad Lubavitch of Michigan, Rabbi Kashriel Shimtov, joining us talking about the Mitzvah Tank Parade, starting in Oak Park, going out to different communities of the Metro Detroit area. There is one one thing that was mentioned, um, the Mitzvah Tank Parade is open to all and promises to be a truly unforgettable experience. 
with this being open to all, if someone is not Jewish, like myself, can you just tell us why uh, uh, want to participate and come out and witness this? Sure, uh, come on board. <laughs> we welcome everyone. You could learn about the, the holiday, you can learn about traditions, and you, we could all learn about how we all can go free. And there's, you know, and, and this is a, a, a safe space where people could come and 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 learn um, about these traditions, which really affects all people, not just the Jewish community. Um, I, I do want to just mention: you asked about we're doing why we're doing this at this day. Um, mm -hmm. This is also mm -hmm. a time uh, on this year where April fifteenth is going to be. Actually, I don't have the date right now in front of me, but. The, the birthday of the Rebbe. And uh, the, the Rebbe passed away in 1994. Um, uh, his 122nd birthday is being celebrated around the world. Uh, there is a, there is, that day is dedicated as Education Day. Um, it is by the president, by many governors in many states. And we are celebrating it with this mitzvah tank parade and that's why we're going to have 13 mitzvah tanks re representing 122 the, in, into that, uh, you know, one, one mitzvah tank representing every decade. And his teachings to the world was how we all have a responsibility for each other, both within the Jewish community and outside the Jewish community. And that's what this parade represents. And the best time to do that is, of course, uh, celebrating Passover and a time of freedom. Right, right. It makes sense now. Thank you for the context. Thank you for the time. Thank you for the information, Rabbi. If you please, is there any other information you want to give us or give to the community before we wrap up? Um, yes, uh, th this is being arranged by the Yeshiva Boys. Uh, these are students from all over the world, from, from uh, 20 countries, five continents, uh, who come studying here to be in training because they want to be able to grow up and lead Jewish communities and be there for others. So they have arranged uh, this particular, together with Chabad Lubavitch of Michigan, are reaching out together with all the centers of Chabad, 30 centers around the state, to be able to do this parade. They come with an enthusiasm, they come with a joy. These are youngsters, they're here celebrating and you could feel it when the parade goes out with the music and the youngsters, they come with a sincerity. They, re they reach out to people from their heart and people respond to that. So my message to everyone is the entire Jewish community that Passover is coming. Make sure mm -hmm. you have a place for your Seder. Make sure you have a place to get matzah. The 22nd and the 23rd in the evening is the Seder. We welcome everyone, reach out to us and may everyone be blessed with a peaceful holiday and all people should be able to celebrate in, 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 with light and peace and harmony. I can agree with that. Thank you again for your time, the education and enlightenment. VP and Executive Director of the Chabad Lubavitch of Michigan, Rabbi Kazriel Shimtov. Thank you so much again for your time. Thank you.